In Georgia, a special purpose local option sales tax, or SPLOST, can be levied by any county to fund the building and maintenance of parks, schools, roads, and other public facilities. A SPLOST lasts for a maximum of six years. At that time, if the funds are still needed, it must be voted upon again. Today, I'm joined by County Manager Jamie McCord and Finance Director Susie Gass. They're here to help citizens better understand just how SPLOSS works. In Floyd County, SPLOSS funds are used to purchase large capital items, vehicles, equipment, and other things such as large building projects that couldn't be funded by normal operating revenues. SPLOSS projects for Floyd County are chosen by a citizens committee and we rely heavily on that committee to give us input in putting uh, projects before the voters to hopefully have a successful SPLOSS vote. SPLOSS funds are collected on a monthly basis just like our regular sales tax. We don't receive all the money up front so therefore projects and purchases have to be timed so that the money is available uh, to pay for those when the items are due. If a SPLOSS under collects, the county is responsible for making up the difference to complete a project or make a purchase. This actually happened with our 2006 SPLOSS in the Armarchy Connector project. The county had to pay almost $800,000 out of its general fund to the capital funds project to complete it. It is possible that the state would withhold SPLOSS funds in a certain situation. Uh, if an audit results in an overpayment by a taxpayer, then the state would withhold those funds in distribution until the repayment is, is made whole. This did happen in 2015. A total of $1.3 million was refunded out of the SPLOSS collections back to a taxpayer for overpayment. And this resulted in a reduction in distribution to Floyd County, the City of Rome, and Cave Spring. Since the 1996 SPLOSS, the total SPLOSS investment in Floyd County alone has been $287.7 million. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to our social media pages for more updates on SPLOSS and all things Floyd County. Or visit our website at romefloyd.com.